Hi, sweet kiddos. It's Mrs. Harbert, also known as Old Mother Harbert. I'm glad you're here on our channel today for story time again. Hope everyone's doing good and you know how much we miss you guys. All right, our book today, which we are kind of have been, if you've been following along, we've been doing some books on life cycles. So one of our life cycles that we talked about was the tadpole and how it changes to the frog. Another one that we did was a plant life cycle and how it goes from seed to plant. So today we're gonna to be talking about caterpillars and the life cycle that they follow. So the title of our book is From Caterpillar to Butterfly and it was written by Deborah Heigelman and illustrated by Barry Wiseman. So remember the author is the one that writes the words, illustrator is the one that draws the pictures. Okay. Today, a caterpillar came to school in a jar. It is eating green leaves. It is climbing and wiggling. This tiny caterpillar is going to change. It will change into a beautiful butterfly. So there they, it looks like someone brought in a caterpillar, gave it some leaves to eat, poked some holes in the top of the jar so it could get plenty of air. And there's some little things with some water down there at the bottom. Caterpillars usually turn into butterflies outdoors. They live in gardens and meadows and yards. But we will watch our caterpillar change into a butterfly right here in our classroom. This change is called metamorphosis. Whew, that's a big word. Should we try saying it one more time? Metamorphosis. Good job. What Our caterpillar started out as a tiny little egg. The mother butterfly laid the egg on a leaf. The egg is tiny. It's the size of a little pinhead. Whew, it's probably so tiny you might not even be able to see it right here on this, but a tiny little egg. When the caterpillar hatched out of the egg, it was hungry. It ate its way out of its own eggshell. Then it started to eat green plants right away. The mother butterfly lays her eggs on plants that the caterpillar will eat. These are called host plants. So they're hosting the caterpillar, and that means they're giving it a place to eat as soon as the egg hatches. A caterpillar's job is to eat and eat and eat, so it will grow and grow and grow. The caterpillar is also called the larva. Look at all these little caterpillars here eating holes in all those leaves there. Each day when we come into school, we look at our caterpillar. Each day, it is bigger. The caterpillar eats and grows for 12 to 14 days. There, we can tell it looks a little bit bigger from a few pages ago. Our skin grows with us, but a caterpillar's skin does not grow. When the caterpillar gets too big for its skin, the skin splits down the back. The caterpillar crawls right out of its own skin. It has new skin underneath. This is called molting. Our caterpillar will molt four or five different times. Well, that's pretty interesting. A caterpillar sheds its skin because it's growing and growing and every time it sheds that skin, it's called molting and it happens four or five times through a caterpillar's life cycle. After many days, our caterpillar is finished growing. It is much bigger than when it first came to school. It is almost as big as my little finger now. So it's growing. Our caterpillar is making a special house. First, it makes a button of silk. So look at that little tiny button that's kind of attaching the caterpillar to the leaf. It uses this button to hang upside down from a twig. Then it molts for the very last time. Instead of a new skin, this time there is a hard shell. This shell is called a chrysalis. Our caterpillar will stay inside the chrysalis for a long time. The chrysalis is also called a pupa. So there's that caterpillar and that little thing that's connecting it to the twig. You remember what it's called? A button of silk. Every day the chrysalis looks the same. We can't see anything happening. But inside the chrysalis, our caterpillar is changing. The caterpillar stays in the chrysalis about one week. Will our caterpillar ever turn into a butterfly? Will it ever come out of its chrysalis? We can hardly wait, but we do. 
We wait and we wait and we wait. Then one day during snack time, somebody shouts, look, and we all rush over to see. Do you guys see what's happening right there? The chrysalis is cracking. We see a head, a body, and then wings. It's a butterfly. The tiny caterpillar who came to school in a jar turned into a painted lady butterfly, and we saw it all happen. Our butterfly is damp and crumpled. It hangs on to the chrysalis while its, while its wings flap, flap, flap. Blood pumps into its wings. The wings straighten out and dry. Soon our butterfly will be ready to fly. In two hours, the wings are dry and the butterfly is finally ready to fly. Our butterfly cannot stay in the jar. It needs to be outside with flowers and grass and trees and other butterflies. It is a warm spring day. I put my finger into the jar and the butterfly sits on my finger. I pull it out and our butterfly goes free. We feel a little sad and a little happy at the same time. We watch our butterfly land on a flower. It will sip the flower's nectar through a long coiled tube called a proboscis. Maybe it is a female butterfly. Maybe someday she will lay an egg on a leaf. I know just what will happen then. That egg will hatch into a caterpillar and that caterpillar will turn into a beautiful butterfly. Painted lady butterflies sip nectar from certain flowers. They like thistle, burdock, zinnias, butterfly bush, and mint. There's that butterfly sucking on that flower. All right, so this one's just kind of going through and talking about some different types of butterflies. And we're not going to read about each one of those, but maybe if you're interested in butterflies, you want to go and look some up with mom and dad on Google and see how many different species of butterflies there are and all the different colors. So I hope everyone stays safe, stays healthy. Don't forget to give mom and dad a hug. Miss you guys. Love y'all.